Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be answering a question from one of our users, and that was, how do you mass update all of the elevations of your points? So this user had a contractor obliterate his control point, and um, through a series of events, he needed to correct all of the points in his job um, and increase their elevation by five meters. So what I'm going to show you how to do in this video is use the translate tool to update all of the elevations in your points. So you can see here I've got a series of points laid out in kind of just a willy-nilly. I've drawn a little pond here in Field Genius and if I head on to the bottom left corner to the user define button there, the one with the four colors, I'm going to bring up my point database here and you can see that I've got these five points that are just laid out on fictitious points and then I have an elevation of 10 meters set for all of these points. You can see here from one to five, I got 10 meters. So if I close my point database here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to the bottom left corner of my screen here and hit the plumb bob icon, which is gonna bring up my project menu here. And I'm going to hit the calculations option. And this is gonna bring up my calculations menu. And then from within this menu here, what I'm gonna to wanna to choose is the rotate translate scale tool. And if I click on this, you can see here that I've got three options here. I got apply user defined parameters, apply control, calculated parameters, restore transformed points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a user defined parameter. So in this case, I was messing around in the job before. So it's gonna ask me if I wanna reset all parameters. In this case, I'm going to hit yes. And you can see here that I now have a translate option that's selected. I can also do similar uh, mass updates to my points using the rotate and scale points. But in this video, I'm just going to show you how to update my elevation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my elevation field there. So I'm going to translate it by 5.25 meters to show you what this can do. So if this is applied correctly, I should see a 15.250 meter elevation on all of my points. So I'm going to enter that elevation. I'm going to hit adjust points there in the bottom left, and then I'm going to enter a point range that entails my entire project here. So in this case, I have points one through five. And to make sure I hit all my points, I'm just gonna make it one through six. It doesn't matter if those points don't um, don't exist. And what I'm gonna do once I've entered my point range is hit okay there in the bottom left corner. And it's gonna tell me that five points have been processed in my translation. So I'm just gonna hit okay here. And this is gonna bring me back to my map screen. And if I head to the bottom left corner to my point database again here and I click on it. If I now open up, you can see that my elevation is set to 15.25 meters. I've increased my elevation by 5.25 meters from the previous points and I have performed my translation. And that is everything for today's video. And if you have a moment, I would please ask you to hit that like and subscribe button down below. It really does help us out. It helps me keep making these videos for you guys. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or any questions about anything you've seen on our YouTube channel, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.